Well, concerns that COVID-19 could be spread at polling places could lead to an increase in the number of people who want to vote by mail this year. And our Seth Kovar has more on that. I expect a bigger number this year. I don't see much of a change. Breaking news, local Democrats and Republicans disagree on something. This time it's whether concerns about COVID-19 possibly spreading at polls will lead to a spike in the number of people voting by mail. We won't know for sure until the ballots are counted, but if there is an increase, the parties agree. The board in charge of checking each mail-in ballot for validity can handle it. I don't see any indication that the ballot board is not, it won't be able to do that. And they can... Uh, go back to the county commissioners as an emergency and get a, a additional people added if it is if it's a monumental task that can't be done. In this era of social distancing, more people may skip the crowded polling place and instead vote right here. But coronavirus concerns aren't enough to get you a mail-in ballot. Texas law lists four eligibility guidelines. You must be 65 years old or older, disabled, in jail, or out of the county during the early voting period and on election day. Plenty of people fall under those categories, and they might be considering voting by mail, possibly for the first time. While the local parties disagree on whether they think that'll happen in large numbers, they do have one thought in common. We all agree on one thing, and we want a fair election. We want an honest election. We're looking forward to a cohesive, fair way for everyone's vote to be counted uh, in November. November 3rd, Election Day, with early voting set to start three weeks from tomorrow. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.